Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Mike, Rocky Ridge Kennel and Loft. The racing pigeons are out and they've been flying for two and a half hours now. Yesterday they flew for three and a half, so they're really strong. They're really good flyers at this point. I had planned on taking them out 30 miles uh, this morning. I had my GPS all set and everything and when I set up the uh, the loading ramp here, I forgot to put this top on. So about eight of them jumped out. So I just released all the rest of them and let them loft fly again. But I'm thinking uh, when they come down, if they all trap and they get a good drink, I still might do that 30, 30 mile toss today because um, it's becoming apparent that these birds can easily fly all day long. Usually when they come home from the 20 mile uh, toss, they beat me home <clears throat> and then they fly for another a minimum of another hour. When I first let them out this morning, uh, they ranged for over an hour. They were completely gone for over an hour. I didn't see them once. Who knows what they do if they just go someplace else and roam around or if they just go in a straight line and and go 20 or 30 miles away. I have no idea. A good exercise. So, this guy's doing all right. This is the one that got beat up by that cockbird. And just finally back to eating and stuff. And uh, that's that bird's kind of special to me because it's my original. I started with four roller pigeons, and he was one of them. And he's the only original bird that I have left. So, uh, and he's an excellent roller. Really, really excellent. His babies always come out real nice, so. And I got a couple black eagles in here that I'm gonna be keeping that just came out of the nest. These were hatched on the floor. And those got, those got scalped a little bit too. And uh, I was lucky enough to have a uh, subscriber tell me what to do about aggressive cockbirds that like to scalp young ones. It's an excellent technique. I'll show you what that is. You see this uh, this cockbird right here? This, this real big one? On his legs, I have an elastic band. And uh, what that does is when, when he goes to be to chase around, to chase around the other cockbirds, uh, it gets tripped up, and he no longer beats up the other cockbirds at all. So thank you to that subscriber. I, I forgot your name, but uh, I've done that in the other uh, stock loft also with one bird that was too aggressive and. The elastic actually fell off after one day, but he hasn't gone back to being aggressive. So I guess it's just a, um, uh, it just kind of changes their attitude. But you see how he's having a little trouble walking? He, he don't, he don't want to fool around uh, chasing other birds around, seeing see how he has that. And uh, all the hens on this side, but I set up this, this real nice uh, pair of reds that I got from Jack Burak. And uh, it looks like they paired up pretty nicely. So um, they've taken to the nest bowl. And I got these actually about four months ago and they, they didn't want to have anything to do with breeding uh, because they were paired up with different mates at Jack's place. And, um, but now I think they're, I think they're gonna be good. They're really good solid um, birds and I love the red color, so. I'm sure they're gonna be great. This is my German Shepherd puppy that I kept from the last litter. But yeah, she's an awesome puppy. Uh, yeah, see, <laughs> she, she's very friendly. She doesn't really have any bad habits. Uh, I could basically leave her out here all day long, not even being tied. She doesn't, she doesn't wander off. Come here, girl. She's getting big. Um, and um, she's really taken off. Looks like these guys want to fly all day. Now 
Yeah, so they, they flew for two hours and 45 minutes. And uh, like I said, if they all trap in a reasonable amount of time, then they're gonna go out 30 miles. So in here, the, uh, the breeding seems to be going really well. Um, I'll use these cages when I'm doing the racing pigeons because I want to make sure I know exactly who the parents are of the racing pigeons. But this beautiful pair of rollers in here, um, they have a nice, nice young one. I'm not sure yet if it's going to be a grizzle or a blue bar. Most likely a blue bar. And I have two uh, beautiful racing pigeon babies here. That one is very dark. I've not seen uh, any of their babies come out that dark. It's almost black. These guys took to the nest bowl here, so I shut the door and feeding them over here now. They got two nice babies there, Husk and Van Reels. A total of uh, 13 um, Rocky Ridge Whites already hatched. And I have black eagles that are on two more fertile eggs right there. And this, this girl here, I'm hoping that uh, she produces a grizzle. Um, she has done that before when paired with the Rocky Ridge White, so I'm hoping. So. It's coming, they got a couple fur legs up there. Here's the tiger grizzle breeding cage and I have some really good news. I have two fertile eggs under there. So I'm very excited about that. It's, it's that pure black and that grizzle. And um, hoping for some beautiful birds. Let's see what happens. So I decided to feed them. I fed the birds and I put a little bit of electrolytes in their water. And now it's about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. And I think I'm gonna take them out now. And we're going out 30 miles. Well, all right, I just arrived. It took about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. And um, I picked this location uh, just off of a map because it's exactly 30 miles from their loft. And uh, it actually turned out to be a pretty good uh, release site. So I'm gonna give them a few more minutes and I'll release them. Wow, this place is brutal. I just, I just stood over there in the shade for about 10 seconds and it came, came out and I had about 15 mosquitoes biting me on, on the legs. Gonna have some itchy legs on the way home. There it is, I just released them. And I'm about to jump in my truck and try to beat them home. The skies are pretty clear. Oh, they're heading in the right direction. All right, so here they are. I've been here for 10 minutes, so I beat them home. But it's 40, 46 minutes since I released them and they went 30 miles exactly. And that's the farthest they've ever been out and I think they did good. Glad to see them all come back in, in one group like that too. Well, you never know, that, that one more of it could have separated, but uh, we'll have to check them out when they get down. Looks like they, they're interested in landing. They flew two and a half hours this morning. I would think they, they just want to land and go in. It's been a long day for them, but we shall see. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Very good. And there's
is the Morvit 2010 right there. First one to trap. Well, most of them are trapped in. Still got another can of food to give to them once they all get in here. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel and have a great day. They did really well today. All right, they're all in.